Hello, welcome back to KG Simple Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Biswo Milk Frother. I am really excited about this milk frother because it has a lot of different things that it does. It doesn't just froth cold milk or just froth hot milk. It does a nice variety of things. On the box it actually says that this makes hot airy foam and hot dense foam, so it's kind of nice that it has those different options. It also heats milk and it can make cold foam, which is perfect, especially with summer right around the corner. It's gonna be so nice for an iced coffee to have a little bit of cold foam on top. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. Okay, let me take everything out of the package first and then we'll go over what each thing is. Okay, so I have everything out of the box here. I love that this is really simple. It doesn't come with a whole bunch of tools. It's just the milk frother and the base. So you can see here, this is the actual milk frother. And you can see it looks really nice. It has a stainless steel exterior, which I feel like looks really nice. It's gonna go in a lot of kitchens. And then you have the uh, little screen here that has the different options so you know which one you're selecting. And I love that the pictures are so obvious. There's the airy foam, the dense foam, the just for heating milk and cold foam right here. So I love that it's really obvious what they are. And then you can see there is this clear lid so you can see how foamy it's getting or if it's getting close to the top. I really like that it's see-through lid. And then there is the heating element right down here and it actually comes with an extra heating element. So when you clean this, you can just pop this right out. I really like that it comes with an extra one. And then you can see down here the base which is you just plug this in and this is what it's going to heat on. I really like that this has a removable base. That way you can foam your milk and then you can, for example, take it to the table um, and share it with friends or something like that. I do also want to note that inside it does have the levels of where you're supposed to add the milk to. So for example, if you are wanting to froth your milk, you're going to put your milk at a lower level. And if you're just wanting to heat your milk, you can put it at a higher level, but it shows it really clearly right there. So that's nice. And then also it comes with this little instruction card. I like that it's kind of um, business card material or a plastic material so that you can keep it in your drawer in your kitchen if you ever need to reference it, but it makes it really obvious what you are supposed to do. And then we also have the user manual here. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this up so we can test it out. Okay, so I have everything out ready to go. I have the frother all washed up. I got everything out that I like to use to make my coffee in the morning. Obviously, if you have an espresso machine, this is when you would put your espresso in here and you would put any flavor that you want, any sweetener. I'm just gonna use what I have. You can use anything from instant coffee to espresso shots. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be fancy. Um, I'm just gonna use what I have and I just use these um, reishi mushroom instant coffee packs um, because of the health benefits of the reishi mushroom, but you can use, like I said, anything that you would like. So I'm just gonna open this up and put this in here. And I like to use coconut sugar. And so I'm just gonna put a little spoonful of coconut sugar in here. I'm just gonna mix it around. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot water just to mix this up before I add the milk. Okay, so I have my coffee prepared and ready. Now I'm going to get my milk all frothed up. Um, and I decided that I'm gonna go with the hot, dense foam um, because it looks like it's gonna be the fluffiest one and I just wanna see how fluffy it gets, I guess. So I'm just gonna pour my milk into this frother. And again, you can use any milk you would like. I really like that you can also use this for hot chocolate if you wanted to. I feel like the kids would really, it would make it really special just for it to be frothy hot chocolate. Okay, so you can see I filled it to the max fill line for frothing your milk, and now I'm going to put this on top of the heating element, and I'm just gonna plug this heating element in. The cord is about two feet long or so, which is perfect for a countertop. So now it's all plugged in. I'm gonna put the lid on right here, and I'm just gonna press this hot, dense foam button and it's started. Wow, you can see it is already foaming up. That looks so nice, and it's only been about 30 seconds. Okay, so this just finished. I'm gonna take the lid off. Ooh, so we can see the foam there. That looks so good. 
I love that this comes in a pitcher and this is not hot at all I just ran it it just finished so if it's going to be hot it's gonna be hot right now because this is hot foam so this does not feel hot at all which is so great because we have kids running around I would not it's just one less thing to worry about okay I'm just gonna pour this in my glass so we can see what it looks like with the coffee That looks so good. I love how it looks. I love the foam in there. I love that it's hot foam. I feel like this is definitely going to elevate my home coffees and I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description down below so you can go check this frother out yourself. If you found this review useful, please give this video a thumbs up and follow us for more. Thanks for watching, bye.